Yay! Yay! <laughs> Today's episode is brought to you by Mutt Merch. Jitters, you're gonna be okay. Okay, so we're gonna have a good time. We are living in crazy times, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> nice. So thank you very much. So did you see today where the Surgeon General announced that this Christmas is going to be the debut of Safe Santa? Right? Did you hear about this? Yeah. Safety's on everybody's mind and on everybody's lips today, these days. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna have a Safe Santa this Christmas. Now how that works? is Santa has a Velcro lap so your kid can't fall off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a great show tonight. We have Johanna Sedonis and Nike Anderson with us tonight. That's right, you know Johanna from uh, the Duke Lucifer and the Oath, and we know Nike from, we're gonna be here all night, uh, the helicopter, Lucifer, and June, Death Breath, Imperial State Electric, and more, you name it, you guys are over there. It's going to be a great show. Thanks for coming. Stick around. So how's it going? Good. Uh, good. How are you? Good, good, good. Hey, so what, what was happening at the studio yesterday with, uh, with Lucifer? Well, the thing is that um, our plan is kind of before we get into... Uh, the next album is releasing a string of seven inches. Okay. So that's what we are kind of working on. Although we're working on the album too, but yesterday in the studio that was part of the seven inch. Uh, Very cool. So it'd be like the UK Beatles releases, like their singles were never on the albums. Oh, that would be cool though. Like this <laughs> never, they're never like Day Tripper wasn't on the album. Yeah. You know, it was like all those tunes were so good. And then it's like, so is it like that? Or are you going to include these on the record as well? No, they okay. it's actually going to be like that. Yeah. They, yesterday was a cover. That was a that cover. Yeah. Okay. I'm going, start, I'm, going start, I'm going to start a rumor here. So you covered yesterday? No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, we covered Lick It Up. <laughs> the best of Kiss. Awesome. Just cover the best of kids. Just cover the best of kids. Yeah. Those are all your singles. Yeah, well, next time we're going to do Fits Like a Glove. And okay. <laughs> Start, on, at the bottom. You know. Start at the nice bottom and work, your, and work your way up. Oh, oh yeah. Nika is opening the door. Um, and I'm going to run and close other doors because we decided we're going to smoke inside today. Oh, nice. Which we usually don't do. Yeah, it's, it's it's what day is it? It's Wednesday. It's, it's Blur's day. Who cares? It's it's Wednesday. It's whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's Wednesday. <laughs> so, uh, are the new singles going to be on your new record label? Let's talk about that. Um, well, one of them. Okay. Well, the, the, the first, first one. definitely, and um, but I think the record label kind of opens the door to a lot of opportunities for us. It does. So, yeah. So, so we're gonna do uh, your. Sex. Set my, sex, my adult contemporary jazz album is going to be out on yeah. Rider Reaper Records. I can't <laughs> wait for that. Okay, so was the label something you've been talking about doing for a while, or was it something like, okay, we've got this time, we need to do something? I think it a little bit because of the times right now, but a little have, bit of both. We but, have been talking about it, but also since we like seven inches is it's cool to put out you know seven inch on us you like my seven inch Love release <laughs> <laughs> now the cool thing is because we do have a contract um a formal contract with central media for our albums but we have a clause in our contract that we are allowed to release seven inches 
uh, externally. So which, uh, whichever label we pick, and I guess it's kind of a no-brainer to do it yourself. Do it yourself? We we're gonna try it. If it's too much hassle, we'll see. But um, you know, I, so far, right now I'm talking to the printers about the label, and that's not going so well. But <laughs> right. <laughs> but you mean the label? You mean the actual oh, the, the label labels on the, on the vinyl? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the actual artwork. <laughs> now you are the label, so you guys have to have you get to have label meetings <laughs> with the two of you. Exactly. <laughs> oh no, we have more. <laughs> Let's have a Zoom, Zoom session from bedroom to living room. But you have always kind of taken care of all the, the artwork on the records and the design, the layouts and things, right? Nick A, and, and you guys have always kind of done that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Out of necessity. Yeah, but also because we have a very clear vision of what we want, and it's just so much easier to do it yourself than trying to explain, explain it to somebody. So, yeah to somebody who also holds up the hand for the cha-ching stuff. You know, it's right. a, if you can't do it all under your own roof, I mean. Exactly, it's, it's easier to do it and, it and you can. All you can do is just YouTube, how do I do this on Photoshop? And then you can know how to do it. Yeah. And, uh, I actually went to a like uh, Photoshop class when I still lived in Berlin because I was so annoyed that I knew exactly what I wanted, but every time I had to sit down with somebody, and it was just this whole back and forth and a million emails. And I, I just wanted to do it myself. So I went to Photoshop class and did it. Uh, yeah, now you're a video editor. <laughs> extremely amateur, but uh, yeah, I'm learning. <laughs> and you even have a green screen. I'm looking at it right now. It's permanent. It's nailed, <laughs> nailed into my Why are we not looking at it? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see hey, some, something Hey, you, you may be. This may be not my apartment. This may be. Ah, cool. Ah. <laughs> So we left, uh, I last actually saw you in person at the end of January when uh, we finished the tour. We were dropping you guys off at the airport. Yeah, that was and a sad day. That was a yeah. sad day. That was and we didn't of, even know it, right? That this was going to be the end of an era in life entertainment. We had no clue that society was going to collapse. And yeah. Yeah. So, but you guys went on another tour. The helicopters are pretty much the last band on planet Earth. Doing well, it, shows. It felt like it. Yeah, so, and Europe was a few weeks ahead of us with everything. So leading up to actually the departure date, you guys had to be feeling the pressure of like, is this even going to happen? Yeah, it was weird because we were reading news while at the airport in Stockholm and uh, when we were going to Chile. Uh, and it was kind of like, are we even going to get in or are we going to be quarantined? Yeah, uh, had we had we gone the day after, we would have stayed in Chile for two weeks. Um, yeah, so everything was really last minute. Yeah. Then the shows, there was two shows in Argentina, no one. No one. The yeah. Argentina, the second show, uh, we couldn't get in because then we would have to be quarantined. We stayed. So we oh. went. We stayed in Chile one day and went straight to Brazil to, to Sao Paulo. Yeah. And, uh, but they wasn't sure if that was gonna happen either, but it did. But it was kind of funny because the last show, first it was Sao Paulo, mm -hmm. and that all worked, um, although it could have been canceled last minute, it was always mm -hmm. like up in the air. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was like hour to hour. You know? yeah. yeah, Oh God. it would change constantly. And then, you know, we had this tour guide from the agent with us, uh, a local guy. He came to all the different cities with us. And he called uh, ahead to Fortaleza, which was the last show of that little run. And the promoter was like on the beach and drinking a beer. And he was like, yeah, what's up? What, what do you mean? What problem? I, don't, yeah, I like, don't know of anything. So he was like living under a rock. <laughs> yeah, he's like, we don't have a virus here. <laughs> so, okay. but, but, but then they actually had no case yet, you know. Uh, oh, there. Wow. Okay. So the show happened and we actually, when we flew out of Brazil, of, uh, from Fortaleza, we had a flight to Portugal layover. Um, it was the last midnight flight out of Brazil that night. So we were so lucky that we we got on it because there was a lot of really desperate people at the airport who were not allowed on their flights. Sure, so yeah. we just made it. Same thing in Portugal where we had the layover to go to Sweden. It was the last day where after that they closed down the airspace. So 
I was really lucky. We just barely made it home and yeah. it worked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somewhat, yeah. How many I know how many shows did you actually end up doing? Was it two? We did three instead three. of four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it's only one cancellation. Wow. Okay. Yeah, only one. That's, yeah, that's that's like everyday stuff. I mean this <laughs> was this, Yeah. Right before shit seriously hit the fan. It was yeah, I was uh I kinda keeping up with you guys and Robert had a good uh diary about everything too. And oh, yeah. like, <laughs> I, I don't know, this has been okay. I'm not really missing i've been made i've made myself busy enough where i'm not like i don't have time to miss stuff i'm not just sitting around like thinking about like damn it i sure wish i was you know somewhere else right now but i was like i'm, I'm, I'm doing okay um mm -hmm. writing more doing a lot so besides the label and doing now recording you you guys are kind of back to somewhat some normality there like uh not really we don't go out i mean there's no shows we don't go nick and i haven't seen a bar uh for since, the longest time. Uh, fortaleza. since fortaleza oh wow so so we are i mean yeah we get together with a band sometimes to rehearse. to rehearse i had a friend visiting me uh last weekend but it's not like we go into into the city to hang out in public places so we, then, we stick to ourselves here in our little but also the uh, even before that we don't do that a lot but now we don't do it at all, at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. no because the option isn't even there the yeah. option isn't even there exactly yeah. because i mean usually you go out on tour or you play a festival or something so you get your socializing down right and all that is gone right now yeah yeah, so, yeah. i can't wait to go to a show I mean, not only playing myself, but to see a Just band go. play. <laughs> yeah, because I know your house is fantastic. At least you have like a super lovely house to be in. Um, yeah. With the, with the studio right there. So how much, how much like creativity is, is happening in there? Uh, well, it's not only in there, it's also in here. I mean, the studio is, what is it, in, uh, in feet? Uh, I don't know. It's yeah. very small. I mean, how many a, feet are there between this house and oh, this house? Uh, oh, I would say like you know maybe twenty-five feet, so like seventy-five hundred yeah. yards. So it's it's yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. We, yeah, it's big enough for us to rehearse and to record. Yeah. It's, it is a shack, though. <laughs> yeah. So no, I mean, but we. What I meant was that we do so, stuff here and in the yeah, house. yeah. So uh, no, so, it's been yeah, we've been doing quite a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean. Of course, this is all really terrible, but it's, you know, us being at home, I realized I'm working on four albums at the moment. Yeah. So, so he's a little bit more busy than I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's so awesome because usually you have to kind of cram that in between going on tour. And now there's actually the time to fulfill all these projects. Totally. So, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, and we've been writing quite a few Lucifer songs. And yeah, but you've been working on your other bands. And yeah, that's... the helicopters. And entombed. Did a little bit of little bit of death breath too. So. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. I mean, the cir the circumstances are awful and. But you can let that, you know, ruin your life or you can go, okay, how can I not let this ruin my life? And how can I actually exactly. turn this into something? I can make something good out of it. You know, it's kind of- Exactly, been, because it is what it is. So you can't change it and you can only it. make the best out of it. Exactly, exactly. And, uh, yeah. and I don't know, with, with me, it started out pretty shitty, but, and then I just kind of snapped out of it and I've started putting in, putting, like you guys, like you said, like you got to squeeze time and squeeze resources into like things that, you know, you're already on tour and you go home. But now I'm just kind of focusing all my energy into those things that I have to like squeeze into. And it's been a good thing. Um, yeah. It's, I don't know, I'm maybe enjoying it a little bit too much. I, I feel the same way. I almost I feel know. a little bit bad <laughs> because there's, I mean, uh, there's some people you hear about that go nuts about this, mm. but I I don't know I I find it really difficult to be bored. 
Yeah, me too. Because there's so many things to it's do. Still, it's I mean, the day is still too short to, to cram in everything that yeah. one yeah. wants to do. You know, there's still albums to listen to and, you know, books to read. Yeah. And uh, I mean, we're socializing now, right now. If, kind of works, if we know? couldn't do this and we didn't have this technology, this it would totally be the dark, it'd be super dark ages. I mean, it'd that be, would be yeah. weird. Yeah, but this is like actually is like as ugly as it is sometimes out like on social media and with that. But with things like this, you can kind of, you know, use it for good instead of evil. And, you know, then yeah. it actually can be a, a shining light instead of like a, a depressing thing. So those are lovely glasses. My glass oh, collection. Thank you. Stuff. I was like I looking at you for the glass. I think it's a <laughs> glassware. <laughs> mine, is, mine are awful. They sound really good too. Do I have lipstick on my nose now? On your nose. Yeah, because I just had. No. <laughs> I was looking. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Doesn't Trick Slide. I'm your host, Philip Schaus, and today we're going to test an avocado. That's right, avocado. The healthy snack, tons of healthy fats, and comes in its own bowl, which makes it handy for eating on the go. Well, I got my trusty plectrum right here. Let's give it a shot. Ooh, what do you say, studio audience? Ooh. That's a close call. We gotta go to the judges. Judges. Judges say yes, it does pick slide. Let's see who next time. So you about that. have something really cool that I've only seen at your place. You have the uh, Kiss Japanese originals, which is oh, yeah. debut album through to Dynasty Dynast or Dynasty. Yeah, which is a little bit weird, but I don't know. Yeah. yeah they, stopped. they stopped there. <laughs> they didn't go all the way just to, okay, we're, we're, we're going to back it off right here. Like, Dynasty is okay, Unmasked is not. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are talking about Kiss. I, I, this time yeah. I didn't start it. No, no, I did. I did. In the like in the van, almost almost the whole time, it was Nick yeah. and I sitting in the same seat next to her, and it was just, it was Kiss all the time. Oh yeah. Do you have Do you have this this one? No, I don't have that one. I have I have <laughs> the navy blue background and the black background. I have two of those. Oh, yeah. Not the light, the light blue. And you also yeah, have I, the brass one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's, it's funny because uh, I, I did pick up a few of those before they got really expensive on eBay. They're ridiculous now. And now it's like, I didn't pay that much. <laughs> yeah. I just got an ace one. Oh, uh, I got oh. the ace. You know how they have the, uh, the 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 four of them. I got the ace one now. How much? That's cool. A for buddy free? bought it for me, and it was only like seventy five U S dollars. Oh, that's which cheap. was a really a good said, deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, then again, if you think of it, for a belt buckle, it's not so cheap. Not really good deal. <laughs> <laughs> I can go to Target and pick up something for yeah. a lot cheaper. <laughs> oh okay, man. I'm gonna test to you. I. Did something bad. I bought, you know, how I wanted that Danzig uh, MI Demon mm -hmm. thing. I found a sweater. A sweater, I, even. I know, and it's way too big. I have to take it in a lot. But you found it. But it's from 1990. Yeah. yeah. And you bought it. Yeah, I bought it. It wasn't Good. cheap. I'm not going to say how much it was. I'm uh, going to yeah. agree on that later. <laughs> well, I need to it know. It wasn't his money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is the cutest interview I've done so far. I will say that. Aww. Aww. But you're wearing an awesome shirt. I know it's, it's great. Look, and it's got you two yeah. right there. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have I have I have two of these. Well, two list for shirts, and so the other one I have is the names on the bottom. So I like. Well, I better have the name up top. Ah, uh -huh. you're right. Yeah. Good thinking. Good yeah. thinking. You have toured with Gene Simmons, so uh, I expect yeah, I, nothing less. For two years, I definitely picked up on some things. We been getting these random emails from Gene with just like YouTube clips of us playing, and he sent us a he sent us all a clip of uh, this garbage man in Mexico that dresses up as Gene, and he hangs off the back of the truck while he's working. 
if there's one person that's not liking this whole thing, it's him. He is bored. He's, he's he's bored. bored. <laughs> yeah. So besides the Lucifer seven inches, and it's interesting, it's seven inch. What's the metric for seven inch? I don't know. I'm so used to. We're we're gonna figure, we're gonna figure this out right now. centimeters or something. We're gonna figure out. Thirteen. A twelve inch is like thirty something centimeters. So I guess seven inch just sounds better on the tongue than seventeen point seventy eight centimeters. That sounds great. Maybe, maybe you can not release seven inches. Maybe you can release 17. We're putting out a 17.78 centimeter. The debut. Yeah. Not only a new label, but a new measurement system. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to go over yeah, great. We're, like, we're, we're in Europe. <laughs> it's going to go over awesome. So whatever, do you have any more releases planned for that? Or is it just this one? And you're going to see how it goes. No, we'll there's... Start with that. Well, there's a few more things in the pipeline. Pipeline. Oh, but for the label. Okay. For the label, we start with that. Uh, but there's a few more seven inches um, that we are working on right now. Cool. Can you yeah. can you mention those or those top secret classified info? Uh, we're gonna do one which is a duet with someone, you and someone else. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, so we're gonna wait a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna you know, drop little Easter eggs here and there to keep pe people kind of, uh, to keep the carrot, you know, with sure. here. <laughs> yeah. So if the duet, I'm already seeing the video, like an 80s, like a big, like Patti LaBelle and Michael McDonald thing coming in. Yeah, we don't have that sort of budget. Totally wrong. <laughs> Maybe you can make a video for us. <laughs> with your oh yeah. We recorded a uh, Tom Waits cover. Out of all people, <laughs> uh, dirt on the ground. It's a very morbid song. Okay. And um, well, we took our Lucifer filter and put our own twist on it. Awesome. So that's going to be the singer. The B side is going to be a live version of the song. Yeah. That we had also just okay. recorded. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, already existing already a released song or a song yeah that, okay yeah it's gonna be uh, i can say it it's reaper on your heels it's from the second second record Lucifer. so both both songs are about death <laughs> naturally but they're not the only lucifer songs about death, about death. No. No. Four. yeah <laughs> it's like uh kiss songs are about sex and uh, lucifer songs are about death yeah they're like more or less uh sex and time travel Hey, I, need, I still need to get up my hands on the seven inch um, that you guys just put out. Um, oh, the, um, yeah, the Motorhead. Motorhead. Uh, uh, Motorhead style song, yeah. I, oh, I actually, <laughs> it's not rehearsed, but I do have it here. <laughs> and you know what? It's waiting for you. I can send it to you. Just mail me your address. Oh, great. I love it. And uh, I, have to, I have to look here. Because how many copies was it? 111. <laughs> That's like the weirdest <laughs> number. <laughs> well, I, I think it is an angel number. It's like a good luck number if you, if you kind of follow that stuff. And it's like, if yeah. you look at your clock and it's 111, it's like, oh, hey, you know, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You have that with 2222. That, uh, yes. That happens yeah. all the time. If you look at the clock and it's 3333, 33, you're in trouble. And if you haven't got the third record, Lucifer 3, uh, get that because they had, it just came out. It was released after we did the uh, tour. It wasn't out yeah. yet. Yeah, March 20th. It yeah, came March 20th. It actually came out when we came back from Brazil. Yeah. Uh, then our album got released on the Friday after that. So it was in the biggest everything mess. in the eye of the storm <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. yeah now the storm so every all the promotion didn't happen so get it it's lucid for three um it's such a great album i i love it thank you thank you it's such a good record it sounds it's heavy but it isn't heavy because everything is run through 85 mesa boogie amps and all the mids are out like it's it's heavy like because it's dark and just the mood is and the songwriting is good the melodies are good uh which i don't know it's kind of rare in a lot of heavy music these days i think it's like you just 
Thank you. Thank Actually, you it's much. only mids on the album. It's only mids. It's only mids. It's all. It's all the There's way. no bottom end battle. <laughs> so many other people doing that <laughs> it's it's great so not only are you starting a new label and a new measurement system for records it's the record record is all mid so yep. that's yeah. great it's heavier that way it's all in the mids that should be the slogan it's all, all in the, the mids. mids yeah even in at low volume you'll hear it it cuts <laughs> through <laughs> it's on volume is on off yep. <laughs> god but you still have to listen loud yeah. Oh, yeah. But it'll feel loud even if it's on yeah. the whole volume. So good to Are see you. Are we done now already? That's it. We can. I, we I can go on. Started. I can actually, I can actually, <laughs> I can actually <laughs> just crack a beer. I, I just had up. one bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, like 12 minutes? <laughs> oh, I haven't been, because I have one. Really, I can walk to a Waffle House from my apartment. Yeah. It's on the oh. corner. And so oh. they, and they still, they still were open. That was the that was the kind of warning sign. Oh, yeah, shit was bad. Was actually some Waffle Houses were closed. Yeah, and they don't close. They're open Christmas. Right. They're open Thanksgiving. They're open twenty four seven all the time. So yeah. when some of those were closing, that was kind of like, this is real. Yeah, yeah that means, mine, yeah. mine was still open for takeout only. It's open again for you know limited capacity, but. Yeah, it was it was serious. Waffle House was closed. <laughs> <laughs> Linus would have had a heart attack. Yeah, he would have hated it. Fuck, you can walk to Waffle House. I think Linus is really envious. Yeah, <laughs> I think Linus would have a problem. I think it's good that it doesn't live where you live. <laughs> yeah. So what was I remember on one drunken ride from the venue to the hotel after the show? We had all mapped out the Swedish Waffle House, which was called. Oh, I don't remember that. What, was, uh, I don't know if uh, I was awake. I don't. Remember. It was Waffle House. Uh, Waffle House. Waffle House. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that must have been. Yeah, that. I mean, it can't be anything else. Yeah, I mean, that we should have one in Sweden. Yeah, it wasn't a clever name. It was just Waffle House in Swedish, was what, yeah, was what it was called. <laughs> I wonder if they have the trademark for all the translations. Mm. You should just steal the logo, and I think we're good. So what's on the, what's the, for the rest of the day? If it's uh, 7, almost 8 o'clock there, what's the rest of the day for you guys? Uh, you wanted to sew a shirt. You oh, but that was, the, my plan was earlier today, so now I don't know anymore. We have a sewing machine now. Uh, I love it so much because now we can take in all the shirts. I've, I've been meaning my mom wanted to teach me how to use a sewing machine my whole life. And I always had something better to do. So it's always been like a guilty thing in the back of my head. And I yeah. said to make a, we need a sewing machine. So we got a singer heavy duty. It's yeah. awesome because we can um, sew like jeans and leather with it as well. Oh, that's amazing. So now we have like, we took out all the stacks of shirts that are like slightly too big because we like them tight. Yeah. So. <laughs> We have a lot to do. That is great. So you got a new singer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lucifer's got a new singer. <laughs> the heavy, heavy duty. So can, are, are you altering? Uh, are you like just doing alterations or are you making things from scratch? Like making a pattern? I've, and I've done a few scarves. Like, but they are maybe good enough to put on Steven Tyler's microphones. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll work. <laughs> I've got no skill with that whatsoever. People that can actually make clothes and things is just like, how are yeah, you? Yeah, I'm kind of like trying to teach myself. But yeah, it starts with taking in everything. Yeah, I think if I made a dress, it would look <laughs> like. I mean, uh, I know how to take in pants and and you know. Yeah, because apparently they issue. learned that at Swedish school. Well, you could you could pick. Um, uh, what's the word? Uh, like wood cutting class or yeah. sewing class? You had okay. a choice. So me and uh, Kenny, my friend, who's, who's, who was also in helicopters, mm -hmm. um, we were classmates. So we thought, how about we take the sewing class? Instead? Because all the girls are in Because the there's only girls, only girls and it's all quiet <laughs> yeah. and you know, no noisy guys. And uh, so that's what we did. That was a smart I, choice. I know how to do very simple things. Yeah, like the woodworking class that in high school here, that's called shop class. 
and in my, oh, yeah. my, my brother Kevin's shop class, the teacher cut off his finger while demonstrating shop safety. Oh, <laughs> great. I That's love so it. fucked up. The guy that we bought this house from, he had a finger missing, and I'm always wondering where he, like, <laughs> if you're going to find like, it. Chopping wood behind the studio. <laughs> it, is, your, your, it happened here somewhere. <laughs> you're planting your garden, and it's like, I found it. It's over here. <laughs> How long ago was it that you had a knock on your door? Uh, besides um, the maintenance guy fixing my sink today. Um, oh, he came. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's Why did you have he said hi. And I'll be there. Yeah. And, yeah. and no, then okay. we do what we saw because when we were hiking uh, a few weeks ago, we saw a guy who was uh, who had one of these um, drones, camera drones, uh, yeah. Yeah. and he hang like a little sack with a beer can in it and was uh, flying over flying to it his over neighbor. to his neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god really <laughs> yeah we just happened to see it <laughs> that's that's like the best use of a drone ever yeah, <laughs> i know it's like oh one pair great oh, that's great you have to get six and control six if i hold six <laughs> yeah, you need a six pack <laughs> that's great and then i realized i need to start a southern rock project i am in swede i'm a swede as you know Yes, uh, but know. you are not. I'm and you're not. from the south. I'm, yes. So, um, are you interested? Yeah. In I mean, you, you have a green screen, and uh, we have the <laughs> technology. What more do you need? That could yeah. be called transatlantic. <laughs> yeah, Johanna, have that. Uh, it should be something like the name should be transatlantic something. <laughs> so, transatlantic. Um, all right, this will be cool. Okay. You know, Atlanta <laughs> rhythm section, you know, because it can't be, it can't be all sound. That's great. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'd, I'd <coughs> want to be involved in the, the transatlantic Something. rock project, whatever, whatever it's called, yeah. Yeah. That'd I'm be not, great. So I'm just no, like, but, but that's what you think. You know the. Oh, I can be one of the backing singers. No, maybe. but you you remember Rossington Collins band? Absolutely. They had a female singer. Yeah. No, they were. you need a guy for that. I can be like. Uh, you can be the what's that smell? Yeah. Background. Singer. Exactly. You yeah. the, need that. We'll have to think. Of, we'll have to think of uh, the, the Skinner had the honkettes. Harry Clayton. No. What? Oh yeah, they had the. Um, they're oh, they're yeah. honkettes. Humble Pie had the blackberries. So that we'll have to have a we'll have to think of a name for our female backup vocal section, which will be two or three of you. So it'll be yeah, it'll be <laughs> you times. Two. Good right. thing you are a video editor now. Oh yeah. yeah, you have the green screen, no problem. Yeah, done. <laughs> done. It's right. The video is making itself. This is yeah. awesome. Now we just gotta have songs. The video's already done. The video's already done. And the song kind of oh yeah, it's, yeah. That, that that's fine. Yeah. Um, well, with you, with you doing it, the songs are the easy part. It'll be, it'll be great. It'll be yeah. But the only thing that you need to play through, and this is years of research for me. Okay. You have to, you can play any amp you want. But it has but to it, be a JBL speaker. Yes, it has to be through a JBL speaker because that's what they all used. Okay. It's also okay if you use a Commonwealth 12 inch. The eminence. Yeah. Which they, <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've got I've got I've got JBLs in my Kemper. Totally, that'd be great. No, does that work? Uh, I, 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 I wish it would. I promise you, if you mail me some things to record on, and I email and I and I mail you back some tracks, you're not going to be able to tell. I really? guarantee it. I guarantee. Okay, now, now, okay. I have to write a song and uh, like some basic tracks. You can. Okay, let's do. I'll it. throw a slide on it. Whatever. I'll I'll southern it up. You know. I'll southern it also it needs up. three guitars. Can you play the harmonica like Obviously. properly? That's always something I wanted to do. It's a well, now you have time. Well, you don't have time anymore because you filled every day up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> I bought right. myself a harmonica last year. And then I put it on my desk this year, and now it's back in the shelf. Yeah, because it's such a cool thing. You can have it in your pocket. And, and you can annoy people anywhere in your pocket. Just take it out. Anywhere you want. <laughs> train and exactly. Just piss people off all over the place. Mm -hmm. 
and it's, one has to be one of them has to be a strat. Strat, but the, but the other two has to be humbuckers. Humbuckers, yeah, yeah. The, the but formula all through been, JBLs. Yeah, the formula has been set up totally. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask Ricky like what he used on some of those records. I know he pretty much an 800. Uh, he had a, he had a, I, I think uh, for uh, Blackfoot, I don't hear that being JBLs actually. Okay. Although they have great sound. Those are probably yeah. those, those might have been just selections. But thanks again for good to see you guys, and I'm glad you're doing well. Looking great. Really good to see you. Thank you, you so much. Today's episode is brought to you by Mutt Merch. Shout schools. Shout schools. Shout schools. Shout schools. Hey. Yay. Hey. <laughs>